Jordan from Storage Review here on the uh, GTC 2024 floor. I've got Jalad Shiner with me. He's uh, oversees a lot of the networking and InfiniBand and all that really cool stuff that enables these GPUs to do what they do. I'm most excited about this technology because I work a lot with the storage industry. And in order to get the storage to interface with the GPUs, we got to have good networking. So you guys had some really exciting stuff. What happens? Yeah, we, we, announced, uh, we announced two new platforms. Uh, Spectrum X800 and Quantum 3800. Uh, Spectrum X is a platform that essentially brings high performance AI into Ethernet okay. and able to uh, move data in a very effective way on Ethernet with uh, highly effective adaptive routing, the ability to do to uh, avoid noise or cancel noise, which create which is being created by multiple jobs uh, running together on the same fabric. Mm -hmm. We want to isolate jobs, so we do this job isolation. Highly effective bandwidth, adaptive routing, great stuff that enables the network to be a very low G tier and focusing on RDMA throughput. Uh, Quantum, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Spectrum, Spectrum X800, you can see that here. Yep. Uh, combined with our Luffy 3 SuperNIC, brings a great Ethernet uh, network for AI, for the data center to be able to connect uh, GPU to GPU for the compute fabric, as well as for um, effective storage access. Awesome. Yeah, so traditionally, at least in my experience, what I've been working with kind of the previous generation stuff, we always kind of have a back of the napkin rule of uh, one NIC per GPU, just to help keep them fed, especially if you're doing a lot of retrieval uh, or you're working through massive data sets. So with this new 800 gig, does that kind of one-to-one -one still apply with the black yeah, architecture yeah. then? Yes, okay. yes, yes. So we, we're, designing, we're designing AI data centers to be highly effective, highly balanced. Mm -hmm. And, and that means that you want to drive the needed amount of bandwidth into the GPU so the GPU can continuously run it. Yep. With a, a black hole generation, 800 gig is an optimal uh, IO bandwidth or network bandwidth into the device. So we're having a 800, 800 gig SuperNIC with the black hole GPUs and it connects to the network when you build a large scale systems for training. Um, if you build systems that uh, uh, serve for inferencing or lower scale, you can also deal with 400 gig, or also 400 gig can be effective uh, in that case, but you do want to have a NIC per GPU, so the NIC, yep. the GPU has its own resource. Um, another system, by the way, uh, on the other platform that we announced is the Quantum X800, yep. which we see on this side. Um, it's uh, delivering 144 ports of infinite and 800 gig. It's 115 terabits of, uh, of a switch network, and then combined with Connectx 8 SuperNIC, it has a full 800 gig for InfiniBand uh, connectivity, which is a great network to get the right performance numbers when we build a dedicated AI infrastructure. We just did a lot of testing with InfiniBand in our lab and had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we were working with some H100s and a Supermicro platform. Um, the, we, I think we had 200 gig and maybe 400 gig at one point. 800 gig, that seems like a lot to push across the PCI bus. How did you guys solve that one? Oh, you can you can drive it through the PCI either using piece of space Gen 6. Okay, Gen 6 now. Uh, with it supported on ConnectX8 Super NIC. So 16 ends of piece of space Gen 6 enable you to drive the 800 gig. Very cool. Um, we also have a lot of piece of express lanes on the Bluefield Super NIC and on ConnectX8 Super NIC. So if you don't have a piece of space Gen 6, you still can run 32 lanes of piece of space Gen 5. Okay. So 2 by 16 of Gen 5 gives you the 800 gig. Or you can do a by 16 of Gen 6, also gives a ton of gig. So there is enough lanes you can connect it to the CPUs, engine GPUs, and actually drive the full bounce out of the system. That's awesome. Are you seeing um, the switching on the PCI bus? Is that a big thing still? We've got, I know we do GPU Direct, which you can use to get out over the network to talk to your storage appliances and get to your data. Uh, is all that infrastructure kind of come up at the same time in these platforms then? So what, what we did, we actually on, on ConnectX 8 SuperNIC or on Luffy 3 SuperNIC, there is a PCI Express switch on the NIC AC. Okay. So we brought the, the, the switch there. There is multiple lanes in a sense. and. Then connect X8 SuperNIC, for example, with that, it has 48 eight lanes of PCI Express Gen 6. Okay. So you connect lanes to the GPU, connect lanes to the CPU. There's also lanes that you connect to flash devices, for example, storage yep. devices. So actually the, the, the PCI Express switch, it's part of the NIC, and then you don't need to have extra PCI Express switches, for example, if you don't want to, but you have the full span, the full amount of 
lanes for PCI to tune in. That's super cool. So there's another party trick up the sleeve here in network computing I heard about. What is that going? What's yeah. going on there? That's that's a that's a great technology that helps to run data reduction operation on the switch network mm -hmm. itself. Uh, we have we call it sharp. We call okay. the technology sharp for doing all reduce operations on the network. Uh, we have that on the new NVLink switch chip. Okay. Uh, and we have it also on the Infinity network on Quantum X300 with its support for 14.8 and things like that. So, uh, ability to do all reduce operations on the switch ACE, on the switch hardware, enables to reduce half of the bandwidth that you need to get in and out of the network. Okay. And that's one of the key elements they actually get a higher level of performance from the GPU, from the entire data center. Great technology, ability to actually yeah. use the network for doing compute operations to actively participate in the application runtime. How much longer before the AI just happens on the wire? <laughs> we need liquid cooled wires soon. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. It's it's when when you start to design a system mm -hmm. um, or when you design a full data center. Yep. And you start from the application perspective. You have the the capability to actually decide which part of the application, which part of the algorithms will run where. Yeah. And you want to run those pieces in the most effective way. Right? You have the GPU as a compute entity, you have the CPU as a compute entity, and NVLink and Infinibin also are compute entities in a sense. Okay. So now when I'm looking to implement the entire algorithm, I can choose which piece of the algorithm we want where, and, and, and where means in the most effective place. So that's why we're yep. doing the reductions on the switch because this is the most effective place to do reduction operation as the switch connects to all of the GPUs, right? Uh, yep. In that case, and then other limits you can put it in other places. Some network-related functions we can actually put on the compute engines, for example, on the CPU and the GPU because it might be more effective there. So that's yeah. kind of the beauty of starting from the algorithm perspective and the ability to design the entire data center. It sounds like with this platform and this uh, this advancement in the architecture, you guys have really provided quite a uh, tool belt for people to go out and design. Large enterprises can really harness the power of AI and do it in a meaningful and thoughtful way mm -hmm. instead of, you know, even just, I can remember two, three generations ago, this is just leaps and bounds ahead of having to kind of manage all of these things independently. So with this crazy tool belt that we've got now with the new Blackwell platform or the new Blackwell architecture, I should say, we can start doing these trillion parameter models. Uh, we've got the racks of gear behind us here that obviously, you know, we can build, but a real magic in my eyes, at least, that ties it all together is this networking stuff. And it really helps bring everything together and create some actionable stuff in order to uh, get your data in and out. So, Jalad, really appreciate your time. Thank you, Thank you for much. talking to us today and telling us about the Ethernet and the uh, InfiniBand. Thank you. Thanks. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more GTC content.